Welcome back, fellow Nightcrawlers. So. Oh, you're making it tempting. Fellow Nightcrawlers, as we step back into the night. I'm Yorick, and I have mastered a new power, ladies and gentlemen. The power of hotkeys. Yeah. I got some of my favorites on lock now. Aspects, vision of death, just at a key tap away. And all I had to do was read the instructions. No, seriously. It, it, all I had to do was read the the the, uh, the key mapping. K. If I hit K, it brings up this. And then I can custom make 10 hotkeys, which would have been really, really handy throughout any part of this game. Yeah. Also, I'm going to smash this up. And I'm going to take all of their pervy money. I still need to get that guide out of this room here. I mean, there is the obvious way. Why, wow, he's just kind of accepting it too. He's a stand-up guy after all. He actually cares about his customers. Are you okay? Hey, Flynn. Um. Dude, you need to leave this room. I'll oh, calm down, Flynn. I'm probably. Leave the room now. That's it. Now, she is mortal. So I say we handle it the same way we handle every mortal. Wow, she's kind of stand up. There we go. No innocents were killed. Just brutally beat. You know what? Since you're there, never pass up free blood. Alright. No harm, no foul. And more importantly, nothing can be traced back to me. I had to uh, fiddle around a little bit off camera before I realized exactly what I had to do back there. I get the feeling that the, the fat guy was stuck in some sort of AI feedback because normally I think when you drain the, uh, the machine of cash, he's supposed to leave, except he doesn't prompting me to beat him with my bare hands. Look who's back. Susan. That's Miss Valor to you. Aw, oh, come on, Susan. About the hunting one. Mm-hmm. Hunter hunted. I know. I heard you from here. So you like loud noises, do you? I asked you to be quiet. All you've done is attract attention to yourself. And now you're in my club. You think there's any chance someone might make the connection? I don't know if you've helped or made things worse. I stepped in a big pile of mistake. I did not mean to track it into the doll's house. Fine. 
Apology accepted. Only because no one else got hurt. I don't remember making any loud noises, but whatever. Tell me something. Mm -hmm. Tell me of the old tree called Abrams, whose roots run deep in the city. I adore Isaac. He's the father I never had. Why, if anything happened to him, I'd just end it all. But nothing ever will. Isaac's gifted, a saintly patron of the arts, and the most respected kindred in this city. Hmm. Didn't she offer me a, a reward? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How come when the music starts, your clothes fall off? I'm a dancer. That's strange. Mine never fall off when I do that. Tell me something else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I said something? No, I'm gone. I get the feeling she doesn't oh, like poor me. Poor David Hatter. Oh, that's a shame. A patron? Did he not tip well? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. So it was about secret societies and creatures and that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by dark. elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? He's in my head. Cemetery no. runoff. It's Can about Kindred. The details the of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? The comfy chair? Dad. I'm afraid for David's big break. Trust the screenplay me. he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Hatter's play must remain unfinished in a lot of pieces. I don't think Hatter of the Atlantic. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. There will be no problem when I am through. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. My ways are many and hilarious. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. First Hatter, then the Chatter. Then I match her to the doll. Except I won't. I, I think it's pretty obvious she's trying to play me, but since that I get experience for these things that I do, I do these things for experience. But uh, a little note, fellow gents. The body language, the tone of voice, everything that Vivi, Miss Valor, is doing. You must ignore that, or you will be played. But, you could always turn it around, I guess. Hey, David. What's up? Night eating you? I'm looking for a hatter. Is this your tea party? I'm David Hatter, the manager here. Did you call earlier? Because I had to give your room away. Apologies. My bad. 
Manager. A pity. I was looking for a writer by your name. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. Okay. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. What do you forge with your pen? Does a writer write, or does he just like ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius? But you, you know, most of my subconscious is 120 a pages. Show, so that's what I write mostly, I guess. Hmm. I hear vampires are leaping out of your pen at the moment. Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like, it's going to be believable. Vampires. Pour me a glass of your musings. Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? I would like to rent your movie's blueprint. Do you have one for me? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact... I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I mean, I have to go with the insanity. I'm Malkav. Enian. Malkavian. Yes, I am not Malkav, probably. I am a mighty thesaurus. Give me your script or I'll bite your head off. Rar. All right, all right, here. Who placed this story in your mind? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. That's a shame. Your mind will spit his name in time. Or in mine. Okay, okay. He's a guy. He calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I love how his mind works. Julius. Uh... Hmm. I'm late. I'm late for an important date, Hatter. And I'm also down four blood points. And, uh, we're doing this. <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you around. I'm really not. So, we're just picking up quests all over the place. How much experience we got? Well, we spent something. Couldn't tell you on what. Uh, wits maybe? Ah, game knows what it's doing now. One of the thin bloods. Uh, that stuttering. Need a ride. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's Cabbage stop. vegetable soup. Delicious. Where's that script? An envelope that David had a screenplay. It is tentatively called Humanity vs. the Vampire Lords. Cool. 120 pages though? I mean, that doesn't seem like it's that extensive of a screenplay. I've written longer stories than that. And perhaps one day I'll link them in a video. But that day will not be this day. Since I'm on the topic, I actually do enjoy writing. Mostly fantasy adventure 
dark grim tales, murderers, redemption, that kind of thing. But we're not here because of my writing. We're here because of you. How's it going, what, Julius? What, what do, you, do you want? Do you know the Mad Hatter? No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Please, I, I, I don't, I don't, 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 no, I, I didn't, I didn't mean, 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 I didn't mean to. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Heavy is the price of loose lips. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. Your groveling sickens my cerebellum. No, 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 no. Oh, God, oh, God. The rules are written in obsidian. Please, please, find your heart. Please, find your heart. Your sobbing makes me want to skewer your pupils. You, you, you could let me go? I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. They will brew coffee with what is left of you. Oh, oh God, 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 no, no, no. Uh... I can't strike the weak need worm. Leave now and no more moons for you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't really want to go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I have a soft spot for thin bloods. Never again should my eyes behold your stuttering stupidity. Farewell. Yay, we gained some humanity. We really needed that because we've been losing a lot of it. But we're slightly good. We're just one step above neutral. Quite literally. But since we're out and about, let's go see what Wizard King is up to. He needs to hear about that gargoyle situation. Trust me. So says the quest log. You know, you think with the crazy wind, those birds wouldn't even be able to fly straight. Hop in. Well, I would prefer opening the door and stepping inside, but as long as that window's rolled down, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Something else I had fun with. Just, uh off camera. I, I wanted to see how powerful the guns were against the humans that walk around. The rich lady with a nice black dress. She took three shells of the Spaz-15 before she went down. A cop took f the whole clip. Insanity. They're more powerful than the vampires. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. I did ensure that the blood golem haunt Hollywood no more. You did? That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, Neonate. And with discretion as well. No need Again, to tell him that he's not living me. there. This deed deserves discretion. And I have returned the book on time. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality. I am no longer here. 
but I will stand here and stare at you while I read what a fey charm does. Ooh, shiny. Good grief, we have so much. Look at all these bonuses. Look at all this blue bonus stuff. We are doing all right. Hell, I'm not even min-maxing the game and I'm looking good. I'll try that next time. Well, we're at the 20 minute, 21 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it here. Things are a little slow, but it'll pick up sand. But until then, farewell, vampire. <laughs>